So I'm fostering this little girl. She peed right there. It's okay. Just put a towel. But look how scared she is. It's okay. Come here, baby. No one's going to get mad at you. It's okay. Accidents happen. She also can't walk properly yet. She came in as a stray, so they had no medical history. She wasn't really able to walk the first few days. We said, okay, sure, why not? She's a small dog. It's not like a tan chihuahua in Southern California has much luck to begin with. She was really scared, didn't want to come out, and I just kind of let her leave the crate on her own terms. I did take her outside so she could go use the restroom, and that's when she relieved all over herself. She was either scared of strangers or scared of humans in general. She wanted to run the other way. I just don't think she had the best start in her life, so that's why she's very weary of strangers. So we go everywhere together that we can. Since then, we've built a lot more trust. Mm -hmm. She is one of the sweetest dogs. She does not have a mean bone in her body. She's blended in like one of my dogs. Her favorite thing is bully sticks. When she hears the wrapper coming undone, she starts making these little whale noises and she'll run to her bed and wait for her bully stick. She'll eat that entire bully stick in 20 minutes. We like to go for afternoon walks, but because she can't walk properly yet, we take her in a wagon. And from day one where she was afraid, she's come a long way because now she knows that no one's gonna do any harm. Good girl. Are you putting yourself to bed now? Is it time to go to sleep? Do you deserve a treat now? Good girl. Eventually when she gets medically cleared, that's when we will place her up for adoption. Nice. And I would ideally like one of my family or friends or neighbors to adopt her so I can still see her and we can be in each other's lives.